Good morning. Today is Friday, April 27th, F Day. I'm Ed Longest. And I'm Greg Friend. <laughs> and this is Kennedy Live. Now for some school announcements. Any Somers residents interested in the Somers Republican Scholarship, please stop by Room 102 to pick up an application. Help wash away childhood cancer tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. during K-Fest. Get a free car wash from Kennedy's Answer to Cancer Club with a pledge to support the Maria, Maria Ferreri's Children's Hospital. The car wash station is located right as you enter the Kennedy campus. Go left of the flags into the bus drop-off parking lot. If any underclassmen girls are interested in joining the Kennedy Live team, please email Alexa Bastardi, Zaria Bailey, or C. Miss McGowan. A Push Review will be held on Tuesday and Thursdays after school in Room 100 for the next two weeks. Now over to this day in history with... Good morning, Kennedy Catholic. I'm Gracie Natale, and welcome to This Day in History. On this day in 1810, Beethoven completes the composition of his famous piano piece for Elise. In 1937, the first U.S. Social Security payment is made. In 1943, Whittled Pilecki escapes from Auschwitz after having been imprisoned there voluntarily for two years to gain information about the Holocaust. And in 1945, Italian partisans capture Benito Mussolini at Lake Como. That's all for this day in history. Now back over to the anchors. Thanks, Grace. And in breaking news... The news professionals are talking about now curated by LinkedIn's editors. Join the conversation by clicking the hashtags below. In an effort to cut an extra $11.5 billion in costs, Ford will stop selling most sedans in the U.S., eventually planning to only sell Mustangs and the 2019 Focus Active Crossover. American automakers are adapting to consumer preferences for bigger vehicles. By 2020, nearly 90% of Ford's North American inventory will be pickup trucks, SUVs, and commercial vehicles. Ford is also considering selling money-losing operations to reach a global profit margin of 8% in the next two years. And for our feature stories, Bill Cosby was found guilty Thursday of drugging and assaulting a woman, capping off the star's slow demise that began in 2014 when dozens of women began accusing the TV icon of sexual assault. After 14 hours of deliberations, the jury reached a verdict and determined that Cosby was guilty on three accounts of felony aggravated indecent assault. The comedian initially had no visible reaction in the courtroom and his fate was announced. But upon hearing the district attorney's request that he, that his bail be revoked, he launched into an explicitive laden rant. Sometimes you see something so horrible that you want to stay inside with the curtains closed forever. This bug falls into that category. It's an 11-inch mosquito that still has living relatives still flying around China. Thankfully, it's only a mosquito in technical terms, as it feeds on nectar rather than blood. We're more likely to call it a crane fly in Britain, but the scientists, uh, so although it's somewhat reassuring to know that it's behind glass, that doesn't help when it comes to the rest of them. It belongs to the whole Russia Mikado species. They normally have a wingspan of about eight centimeters. This, so this is one particularly large and horrifying bug. And now over to the Gipster with sports. The Gipster. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic Sports Nation. I'm your host, Brandon Gibson, or as they like to call me, the Gibster. In Major League Baseball, the Yankees beat the Twins 4-3. to Gary Sanchez hit a three-run homer in the ninth. And the Red Sox beat the Blue Jays 5-4. to Martinez also hit a three-run homer. In the NBA, the Bucks force a Game 7 against the Celtics with a 97-86 win. Giannis had 31 points. In the NHL, the Penguins beat the Capitals 3-2. They now lead 1-0 on the series. And the Golden Knights crush the Sharks 7-0. They also lead... 1-0 in the series and remain undefeated in playoff play. In the NFL, the draft, the Browns pick Baker Mayfield, QB from Oklahoma, number one overall. And the Giants finally make a smart pick, taking Saquon Barkley, the running back out of Penn State, for the number two overall pick. And number three went Sam Darnold to the Jets. Girls Varsity Lacrosse Kennedy def Catholic defeats St. Dominic's of Oyster Bay 18-6. Leading scorers were Alexandra Cartazano with five goals and two assists, Sarah Salazo with four goals and one assist, 
Emily Girolamo with three goals and one assist. Men's varsity lacrosse, game tomorrow versus Guilford for K-Fest has a 2 o'clock start. Make sure to come out and support the guys. K-Fest games will start at 11.30 and continue on until 4. Please come out and support the teams. That's all for sports. Now back over to the anchors. Well, I'm Greg Brand. And I'm Ed Longest. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.